Later. Deke, a group of men rode in, shot up the gate, and when we wouldn't let them in, they rode off. Ah, shit. Which direction? Uh, they headed west, but they didn't go far. They set up camp just north of Eden Hill. I think they might be planning another attack, so I need you to take a look. <sighs> okay, right. Yeah, I'll handle it. Thanks, Deke. Looking to buy, I hope. Okay, Ricky, I'm near Eden Hill. Yeah, Drifter's still here. Can you handle it? Uh, well, I guess we'll know soon enough. Deacon out. One more. Okay, time to radio in and let Ricky know. Deacon, how'd it go? It's done. They won't be shooting up any more camps. Oof, thank God. I'll let Iron Mike know. You know, keep this up and you and Mike are going to be best friends before you know it. Bye.
it going, brother? Oh, Deke. I don't know about you, but, uh... I could use a hand. Uh... <laughs> you lay down. Thank you, ma'am. You can't have visitors uh, just yet, but, uh, I could really use a hand. Okay, I'll see you later. I'll be here. Hey, Doc, Doc, seriously, though, um... Will I be able to play piano after all this is over? Very funny, William. Lay down. <laughs> okay. I could play chopsticks. No, seriously, I could. I'd be like... <laughs> As you can see, he's gonna be just fine. His fever's completely gone. Good, that's good. All right, well, I gotta go take care Deacon, of some shit. like I said before, William really does owe you his life. Boozer doesn't owe me shit. I owe him. Hey. I saved two more. Eddie and Mia would have died without those antibiotics. I just thought you should know. Seems like he's uh, getting better. Hey, uh, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? What can I do you for? Now that's an upgrade. Hmm, that should work. Okay. Hey, see. Yeah. Hey, I got a job for you. You got a job for me? Yeah. There's a bunch of dead freaks. The west of the footbridge stuck in the muck. I need someone to pull them out and take them to the burn pile. Got it? Marsh duty. Yeah. Get someone else. I'm busy. Hey, I'm getting you to do it. I don't know what Mike told you on your little field trip, but we got work to do. Here. Hey, 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 hey. Schizo. He can't come with you. He's coming with me. Last I checked, I wasn't talking to you. Well, I checked in with Mike. I gotta go into the shit, and he's coming with me. All right? Like I said, I'm busy. And when you get back, you come find me. You coming? Where? Doesn't matter. Seriously, where are we headed? North. Ricky, I don't have time for your crap any more than schizos. Come on, I'll show you. Mike told me what you did. I didn't do anything. About how if we seal the caves here, we can stop the hordes? Never said it would stop them. Maybe slow them down. <laughs> Look, are you going somewhere with this? Yeah. I just thought that maybe you decided to stay. I mean, not just because of Boozer, but because you wanted to help. Is that what you thought? Hey, back in the day, I did my share of runs. You did, but never anything more than that, and you know it. So now you're helping Iron Mike seal the caves? What did you want me to think? Here. See, a few weeks back, we lost a man when this went down. Shutting down the infirmary's respirator. Respirator? Oh, God, Ricky, look around. If you're on a respirator out here, you're already dead. What if it had been Boozer? Yeah, that's what I thought. See, we haven't had power for almost two years, but the transformers and the lines, they all check out. Well, at least they do here. I want to ride up north, 
check out the hydro dam just to see why it shut down. Oh no, riding escort, that's Schizo's job. I don't need an escort. You lived up there, you know the area better than anyone. Deacon, you asked for my help, right? Now I'm asking for yours. Okay, good. I'm gonna go grab some of the guys nope. that can write. No, you're not. No, we're going in quiet. We're running to Copeland's men. I can handle them, but that wilderness up there is crawling with rippers and scumbags and God knows what else. More men, you know what that means? That means more attention. No, uh-uh, no, we're doing this my way. Shit. Fine, okay, let's go. Look, Ricky, uh, I gotta ask you. The other night, uh, I hit me in infirmary. Would I have shot you in the face? No. Really? Oh. From the look in your face, you... I would have taken you outside first and then shot you in the face. <laughs> okay, so you wouldn't, you know, want to get blood all over the infirmary. Uh-huh, exactly. If we get an early start, we can get back before dark. As long as nothing goes wrong. <laughs> well, what can go wrong? Following you. Just follow the route that I marked on your map. There's some marauder camps up there we want to stay away from. Yeah, got it. So how did you end up out here? I never asked you. Same as everyone, I guess. When shit went down, I was 100 miles from home. By the time I got back, everyone was gone. Where are you from? I grew up in a little town outside of Portland. Would work in the city, couch surf, go home on weekends. Big city. Yeah, right. Only in Oregon. What was it like over there? I mean, how did you, uh, how did you get out? I don't know. Luck, I guess. Roads were backed up all the way down the coast. One giant parking lot. Willamette Valley was a war zone. Everything happened so fast. I, I, I told my friends to get out when I left. I don't think they listened to me. I, uh, I heard they nuked it. Portland? Yeah, I, I heard that too. Don't think it's true. We'd be feeling the fallout, right? Yeah. So, uh, you and Addy. You got a problem? Me? No. Come on. Just, I didn't know. You rode with us a long time. I guess it, uh, I guess it never came up. I was like you. Seemed like, uh, I don't know, keeping your distance was just a good way to stay alive. Uh, okay, look, I shouldn't have asked. None of my business. That's why I'm at the camp. You know, chance to live a normal life again. Good luck with that. There's nothing serious. Me and Addy? Didn't look that way to me. Yeah, well, things happen fast these days. You know what I mean? Didn't ask. I wanted to tell you something. Shoot. I, uh, look, I appreciate you going to bat for me. Uh, for me and Boozer, with Iron Mike, I mean. Wow, you are getting soft. Fuck off. You've never thanked me for anything. Yeah, well, maybe I never had any reason to. Okay. So where'd you and Iron Mike go the other day? Wait, you said that he already told you about it. He was pretty tight-lipped. I've known Iron Mike a long time. To be honest, I, I don't think I've ever seen him so, I don't know, depressed. Where'd you go? A Sherman's camp. I heard that place was a freak show. It is, but we didn't have much of a choice. I, uh, I had an idea about sealing the caves, keep the hordes from coming through. He knew where the mining claims office was. We picked up some maps. He's gonna track down some explosives. Your radio must be broken. Almost sounded like you volunteered for some shit. I'm riding with you now, aren't I? Jesus. You just wanted out of marsh duty. Okay, you got me. So what happened? Something happened. Nothing, Ricky, nothing happened. He didn't say anything? Just, no, no, nothing happened. And no, Iron Mike didn't say anything. Like you said, he's a pretty tight-lipped guy. All right, dam's coming up. Take it slow near the gate. No idea who or what might be living there. Got it. Well, looks clear. Are you expecting trouble? Yeah, always. And if we run into any, we're gone. All right, come on. I want to check the outflow. Where are you going? Down here. No, 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 no. 
Yeah, this isn't right. There should be more water flowing out right there. Yeah? Yeah, and you hear that? What? what? Exactly. If the turbines were running, you'd be able to hear the hum of the lines from here. Mm. Oh. What happened there? Well, oh. Same thing that happened to all the bridges. Smart men in uniforms decided blowing them up would keep the hordes from coming in. Hordes of refugees or hordes of freaks? Oh, you figure men like Copeland? Probably both. Hmm. All right, come on, I want to check something out. Come here, touch this. What? Come on. Okay. You... Hmm. you feel anything? No. Exactly. If more water was flowing, the turbines would be vibrating. Come on. Up this way. We're going all the way up to the top, up there. Following you. See these pipes? They're called the penstock. Water pressure builds up from the reservoir and is pushed down through those pipes, concentrating the force of the flow, which goes right through to the turbines. How the hell do you know all this stuff? I had two older brothers who were always fixing cars and shit with my dad. He got me a job at Boeing when I was only 17. I was going to school part-time to become a mechanical engineer when shit went down. Did you ever see him again? Your dad, brothers? No. Come on, over here. Let's figure this out. <clears throat> well, this is gonna be fun. So now wait, oh, oh. wait, what's, go what's going on? What are you doing? We only rode together a few months, but in all that time, I never saw you volunteer for anything. One of us has to jump down there and clear the intake. So, I'm up. <clears throat> oh, but you can stand and watch. Okay. Well, it's now or never. Let's go. Yeah, it's it's pretty mucked up. I think I can clear it though. Run back down to the turbine. See if it's vibrating at all. Hmm. Huh. Nothing. Wait a second. There it is. Yep, that did it. Ha <laughs> You feel that vibration? Yeah, but the power lines are still dead. What? Man, oh, it couldn't be that easy, right? All right, come on, let's check out the transformers. <laughs> <laughs> 